like, like, comment, <laughs> subscribe. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to prepare some steamed fish with okra today. So what I did ahead of time is go ahead and scale the fish. Right. And these are the ingredients. So what we're going to have today is our coconut milk powder, which is Magiel of this brand. It is more richer to me than the other, the other rest. I'm going to put a little lime juice, um, fish Caesar, Maggi, all purpose. Of course, I'm going to watch um, off the fish with some vinegar. I'm going to use my stick butter. We have some pumpkin here, some onion, escalion, tomatoes, sweet pepper, mm, my favorite, okra and irish or you will call it potato wherever you are um some thyme. i have a little piece of ginger and of course our famous jamaican scotch bonnet pepper what i like to do ahead of time right is to prepare my vegetables i have some cucumbers and some lettuce that i'm going to serve on the side as a side um vegetable you know so to make the dish more presentable and more edible right so take stay tuned for more i've decided that i wanted to look about some bami that was in the fridge from yesterday um along with my steamed fish also i've just remembered that i placed it in the fridge so what i actually did with these these are not um diced properly but you know at least it is done so these were actually soaked in coconut um, milk, the, uh, my favorite Maggi coconut milk uh, with um, some thymes on it for flavor. So I'm, I'm going to actually get some of these done with my fish also. So I've just cleaned off my fish with the vinegar as I showed you guys before. So I'm going to have my Maggi all-purpose season right here on a little bit of all three of them. And also my Maggi fish. I love this season so much for the fish because it's like um, more mild and uh, it's, it's carried more flavor, right? So it's all depending on you guys what you want to use on your fish, but I rather to use this. A little bit on here and there. On everyone. Kind of rub it in, my little kind of rub it in and let it marinate. So we're going to move. The reason why I soak the bamins in coconut milk is because it gives it a nice um, flavor and it gives you more moist taste in your mouth. So it's like bursting of different flavor, you know, milky type of flavor. So these are all soaked. I went ahead and preheated my pot, so I'm going to tip a little bit of oil in the pot because um, the butter that I showed you guys before, that's what I'm going to use. For, um, to help to steam the fish a little bit more because through the pot is already preheated what I'm going to go ahead and do is to add my vegetable that I show you guys and I've also went ahead previously and add some lime juice for a tangy taste in it so I'm going to add these to sort of stir fries and if you're wondering why I put um, pumpkin in this it's for color and more texture to the fish for you to eat. Yeah. So I add all of this to my pot. Here is all frying up right here. All my seasoning so beautiful this is. Just gonna taste so good today. All burst of flavor here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my coconut milk. And I just add some little bit of water in it. I'm gonna spray it on. 
So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is add this to my pot. Right here. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add a little bit more water to it for it to cook down my seasons. Okay, it's right here. Normally what I do is to add my fish last and my okra last because you know those are the things that will steam, the heat will steam through it more faster. So what I'm going to do actually, I prepare these, I slice these in two, reason being because you know that okra is a sensitive thing. We from Jamaica know that um, with okra, if you don't do them like this and you put them in a pot holder, it's a possibility that you know that insect will be living inside of them. So I bust them in two. So what I'm going to do is add these to my pot for the last because you know that these are the ones that will, it will steam um, faster than anything else, right? So you see the fish is bubbling right here, you know, I'm going to start off like I'm down in the pot, right? So here I go, you see the flavor, it's coming up, and the texture is getting thick, you see? Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is actually put this on low, um, low heat. To let these this um, steam a little bit more okay see you in a few here we go guys so this has been situated in my pot for approximately three three two to three minutes to be frank so what I'm gonna do is I had my Maggi um, hot soup with pumpkin noodle to add a little bit more flavor to the pot because um, to give it more taste in it there you go, that's a little tip. Not too much. Mix. It's all depending on what you want to add to the pot, right? So you see the texture is coming up. I actually added some pimento seed in it. You know that the pimento berry carry, um, carries also a burst of flavors, right? Here we go. So I'm gonna do a little taste test. Mmm, this tastes so good. So natural. So what I'm gonna do right now is the fish that I have already seasoned from before. Here they are, right here. I'm gonna actually place them in my pot. Right, so here we go. Oh no. Thus, tress. Here we go. I'm gonna, actually going to place a piece of butter in it um, for more flavor here. So let it steam through properly more. There you go. Put my water over it. Here, find my bamis that I told you guys previously about. So the oil is already hot, so I'm here doing them. And I've left my fish over here in my pot for approximately four minutes, three to four minutes approximately, and this is how it's just looking right now. So when I'm, you will see me guys in a few when it's all done for serving. So you see it's all creamy and nice. Mm. Look at this, look at the fish. Look. All creamy and nice. You see what I'm telling you about the pumpkin? You can go ahead and eat it like this. All creamy and nice. Look at the cream. Mmm, delicious. I wish you guys could taste this right now. Look at this. Wow. So, see you guys in a few. So here you guys have it. This is the finishing product of my steam fish with bami and my cucumbers and lettuce. So drop a comment in the comment section. Share, like and subscribe and tell a friend about me. I'm new here so I would appreciate it. Here you go. Mm.
still a shucks. Bonus petite. Bye.